Hello and welcome to another video. Um, I know I've got a lot of new subscribers coming in, so welcome to the channel. Um, if you are new, um, I want to thank Rich Strickler and Sam St. John for their really generous shout outs. That was really cool to see. I came home from being out and I was very surprised to see why I had so many new commenters. And then I noticed that, you know, both of them had given me a shout out, which was really cool of them to do. So if you are subbed um, and not subbed to them, go for it, but I imagine most of you are. Um, those guys make some really great videos, especially the videos they do together. I think they have some really good chemistry. And, you know, they talk about the Beatles, and who doesn't who doesn't like hearing about the Beatles, you know? <laughs> um, but I, I've sort of mentioned that I had a few videos lined up. Um, I'm actually going to a record fair on Sunday, so that'll be another video. Um, as well as two videos on the Pesh mode that I've already recorded, and I, that'll be a longer videos that I need to edit down. Um, so that'll be a bit more of a project for me that I'll hopefully get out next week. Those two videos, quite exciting. And then I've got two videos on this band that I'm talking about today coming out. Um, I kind of I do like keeping up with contemporary music. I've done so more and more as the years have gone on. Um, I sort of like all kinds of genres, but um, I will always gravitate towards that sort of either the really 70s sound or the really 90s sound. That's like where where my big interests in music lie. And um, here is a band that I'm going to talk about today. They released their new album uh, a few weeks ago now, um, and I finally got it on vinyl. And that is Big Thief's Dragon New Warm Mountain, I Believe in You. It's a very, very verbose title. As you can see, it's a double album, 20 tracks. Um, really cool inner gatefold here. I really like the aesthetics of it and all the different pictures. Um, I think it just looks really cool. It's one of my favorite inner gatefolds that I've got. Um, and I was really glad when this album came out because I listened to it on Spotify the day it came out and it really lived up to the hype and then some i think it's their best album it's their fifth studio album this, i feel like they're sort of hitting their peak at this point um and yeah i, I just want to sort of talk about the album a little bit it'll be a sort of shorter video i think um but uh there's 20 tracks so it's a long album but it's got that sort of like americana uh folky vibe with sort of like a little bit of modern indie in there which is really cool um there's like shades of fleetwood mac there's shades of the band like I said, the shades of some more modern indie stuff. The opening track, Change, is probably the most similar to their signature sound. And then they throw a curveball in with Time Escaping, which sounds absolutely nothing like anything they've ever done. Very weird song, as is Spud Infinity, the third track. Very sort of, almost like a parody of a country song. I really love it. It's very, very fun. Um, the track Certainty is the the, the most popular single. Um, and I think it is one of the better songs on the album. Uh, the title track is brilliant as well, really nice sort of mellow vibe. Little Things is an amazing rocking track. Red Moon is probably the one that sounds the most like Fleetwood Mac. Um, really good song. Simulation Swarm may be the best song on the album. Really catchy, really endearing song. Um, Love, Love, Love is more of a rocker and I really like that one. The Only Place has got some really intimate lyrics. Um, and Blue Lightning is a really good jam like... That's probably the song that most epitomizes this cover, the sort of the campfire sort of sing-along vibe of that song. It's just infectious, and I love it. Um, the only song I don't care for on the whole double album is Blurred View. I love everything else. I think it's all great. Um, it's not not at the moment looking like it's going to be my album of the year. That'll be an album that I'll, I'll talk about eventually, but a lot of you are you know, keeping in touch with current music probably know have a good idea what kind of album I'm going to be talking about. Um, but yeah, Dragon New One might not believe in you. It's a really cool album. I think Big Thief are a really good band. And I just sort of wanted to show off this really cool vinyl. Again, this inner sleeve is so cool. I'm going to keep going on about that. <laughs> I think, because I know a lot of people in here like sort of that Americana 70s style. And I think there is a lot here. Maybe not all of it, because a lot of it is quite alternative. And maybe that's why I gravitate towards it as well. There's a lot of stuff here that I think a lot of people would be surprised at how much they like it. Um, especially, you know, maybe if you start with a song like Red Moon or Certainty, um, that's probably where I'd recommend to start. There's sort of the more accessible side of them. 
Um, but I think this is a brilliant album. I'm really glad to own it. Um, it's my second Big Thief album I own. And um, the reason I say I'm having two videos on them is that this Sunday, so in a couple of days, I'm going to be going to see them in concert um, on my own, solo. So that'll be very interesting. First time I've ever done anything like that. Um, but I'm sure I'll be making a video talking about that, maybe showing some clips uh, if I can. But um, yeah, that's that's sort of a short video about um, the album. And I think I think again, if you like folk, if you like Americana, if you like sort of this this like I say, the campfire aesthetic, if you like the band and Fleetwood Mac and stuff, I'd definitely give it a try. Um, Dragon New Warm Mountain, I Believe in You by Big Thief. Um, it's a great album. And again, thank you again to Sam and to Rich for for the shout outs and and welcome to all the new subs. So um, I'm excited to make some more videos. Um, and there'll be plenty coming. So, yeah. Cheers.